Hola Marina, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, Ben, ¿cómo estás tú? Muy bien, os vamos a contar una historia eh, cortita. Marina, ¿qué? ¿Qué pasó? Pues este fin de semana estaba haciendo un curso y Ben se fue a comer a casa de mi hermana con mis sobrinos, mis hermanos. ¿Y, y qué pasó en el camino, Ben? Pues como siempre me perdí, después de 12 años en Madrid, eh, sigo pues sin ni idea de cómo llegar. Ni idea. <risa> ni idea. Eh, de cómo llegar de un lado de la ciudad a otro, pero bueno... Es que eres un poco paleto, ven. <ríe> y ella siempre me llama paleto, <ríe> por eso. Bueno, da igual. Yo creo que es más despiste que que, que no sí. sepas. Soy llegar. un poco despista. ¿no? Creo que sí. Eh, lo pasamos muy bien, eh, mi hijo y yo, en casa de, de su hermana, de mi cuñada. Comimos fenomenal. Eh, y al día siguiente, ¿qué pasó? Pues que Ben llamó a mi hermana para darle las gracias y mi hermana se quedó un poco sorprendida. Sí, resulta que es una cosa muy inglés, ¿no? Muy, muy inglesa, una Muy cosa. inglesa, muy británica, mm -hmm. de llamar después de una cena o mandar un email o una carta para decir muchas gracias. <coughs> Pero yo soy muy inglés y, y suelo dar las gracias. Pues vale, en España la costumbre es un poco distinta. Normalmente das las gracias cuando te marchas. Pues lo hemos pasado muy bien, la comida estaba muy rica, muchas gracias. Mm. Eso sería lo habitual. Y otra cosa que es habitual en España es cuando alguien te invita, pues llevar algo, llevar una botella de vino, en señal de agradecimiento, sí. o un helado, o pues una mira, tarta. Yo no llevaba nada y luego di las gracias. <risa> claro, cada costumbre es sí. distinta. Bueno, pues nada, eh, nosotros queremos dar las gracias a vosotros por ver nuestros vídeos y escucharnos y vamos a pasar ahora al, al análisis, ¿no? Uh -huh. Porque yo creo que hay, aquí hay palabras muy interesantes. Aquí hay tomate. <risa> Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Okay, so it's analysis time and we've got just a few words and phrases for you today. Um, Marina started off by calling me, uh, bueno, what did you say? Eres un poco paleto which means really I'm a bit of a country bumpkin. Mm -hmm. Now this was in response to the fact that I say I always get lost when I drive around Madrid and I got lost going to her sister's. Um, he doesn't learn the, the, his way in the city. He, he is not interested, that's the thing. Um, paleto uh, is usually used for uh, people without mm, a proper education. But in this case, it's just an okay, I, term. I, I, I think I've got a proper education or something, anyway. Yes. But, well, we went on to say, Marina said she thought it was más despiste. Es más despiste, yes. And I said, soy un despistado. So, despiste is like... Eh, despistado is uh, dreamy. Right, so, if she says es más despiste, she thinks it's dreaminess. Mm -hmm. And I said, soy un despistado, which means, yeah, I'm a bit of a dreamer. That's I've got my it. head in the clouds. Mm -hmm. So, I drive with all my concentration, mm -hmm. but I don't really think about where I'm going. Because usually I ask Marina, who's next to me. Uh, okay, I went to see my sister-in-law, uh, which I said was me. Cuñada. Cuñada. Okay, brother-in-law would be? Cuñado. Uh, just quickly, to mm. add a couple more. Uh, Son-in-law? Yerno. Yerno, with H. With, no, with Y. Ah, really, Y. Y-E-R-N-O, yes. Yerno. And daughter-in-law? Eh, nuera. It's amazing, that even the Spanish have trouble with these two, so don't worry if you find it I, hard. I got confused <laughs> two <laughs> minutes ago. This is take two. Take one, <laughs> Marina completely forgot brother-in-law. No, mother, not brother-in-law. Daughter-in-law and son-in-law in Spanish. It's because I haven't had the chance to use those ones. Too. Okay, so again, son-in-law, yerno. Yerno. Daughter-in-law? Nuera. Okay, good. I Let's will use them when I have them. I don't have them. Let's really. move on quickly. <laughs> Okay, um, and finally we said there's lots to talk about in the analysis or some interesting words and phrases and Marina said... Aquí hay tomate. Which means here's, there's some good juice in here, yes. there's some good stuff to talk about. Good stuff, and it can be used in a sneaky way as to say some, like um, the there's sneak. a relationship between two people, ah, for example. Okay, so, Mm, Marina has a friend uh, who always used to sort of mention boys that she was kind of thinking about and I would say, ah, aquí hay tomate, exactly. meaning oh, I reckon there's something going on here. That okay? would be. It's a good gossip phrase. 
Right, well really, uh, as we said, the Spanish don't really say thank you in letters or emails or anything, but this video... Some do, but it's a very, very formal thing to do. Okay, well, I'm British and formal, and Marina's Too been, formal Marina's in been Spain. influenced by me, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and me by her, which is great, because I'm a bit more Spanish. But anyway, we're going to be British about this, and we want to say thank you very much, muchísimas gracias, as we said in the video, to everyone who, gracias. who <laughs> listens to our videos and everything, but particularly thank you very much to everybody who signed up for Gold Season 2 already uh, on the first day, which was yesterday that it was open. Uh, an awful lot of people have signed up. And we've already got some great comments about the first audio. So thank you very much to you. Uh, if you haven't signed up yet, pues, mm, pues, pues, pues go for it if you're interested. <laughs> and uh, we will see you very soon. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.